In this video, I am going to explain some interesting applications of uh, data structures and algorithm. So this video will be on uh, intuitive side. So the main motive is to explain the intuition and uh, increase your curiosity. So let's begin. So to begin with, uh, these are the tree based models used by Alibaba in their recommendation engine. So what is uh, special about these uh, tree based model are they are using these max heap kind of structure. So like uh, what, what they are doing is they are encoding all the products into like the their leaf nodes. So to keep, keep it simple, let's suppose uh, Alibaba has a billions of products. So what they can do is they can encode all those products into the leaf nodes of a max heap or you can say a binary tree. So what they can encode all the products into leaf nodes of uh, the binary tree. So after encoding all the products, they are able to reduce the time complexity by logarithmic times. Uh, so to explain it even better, let's suppose uh, first Alibaba was uh, storing all the the uh, products into uh, array and uh, then the retrieval time complexity is gonna be order of n and after encoding into these kind of uh, hierarchical structure they are able to reduce the time complexity by logarithmic times so, uh, let's suppose they are uh, able to retrieve the information in worst case by 1.3 billion milliseconds because we have a billion items and it's taking like um, one millisecond to perform a linear search let's say so after like uh, encoding into hierarchical structure so they are so then the time complexity is gonna be uh, 26 to 27 milliseconds so this is like the scale of a reduction in time complexity this is a paper of a word to vec and as we all know word to vec is used to embed the some words into some um, numerical embeddings so what was so special about word to vec was like uh, it is also using the hierarchical structure and basically it's called hierarchical softmax so they are using the hierarchical softmax to reduce the time complexity from order of n to order of log n if we are encoding these into some hierarchical structure then there is like a logarithmic time uh, reduction in the time complexity and what is more like the parameters also re are reduced significantly and this also uh, improves the space complexity and also training and inference time complexity to complexity too so this in addition to reduction in parameters which are resulting in a reduction in train time complexity and also the inference speed is also increased in this hierarchical structures we are also encoding the uh, hierarchical nature of information is also encoded in these kind of data structures our third example so after encoding billions of uh, items or billions of words into some uh, billion scale embedding so it's still challenging to uh, find the nearest neighbor or top n candidates in given time so we can uh, mitigate that challenge by uh, forming these nearest neighbor graphs so for example if a query comes at this point so if the query point is near to this point so then we are able to generate top n candidates like we are able to say this 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 rather than uh, like relying on some e equilibrium distance or some other distance measure so which are also time consuming we can directly say th these items are near to that query so this way like it also reduces the inference time complexity as we are storing the information of graphs into memory and computing the nearest neighbors so train time space and time complexity is increased but uh, as we know the querying is very very fast with this kind of embeddings so that was all is my last example and this is in context of uh, graphs and graph neural networks so what we can do in graph neural networks to reduce the time complexity is we can bias the random walk so like uh, some of you might still not be familiar with random walk so random walk is like uh, 
it is like uh, analogous to k nearest neighbor and it's uh, finding the closely related points to a particular query and this is a query and we are performing the k nearest neighbors and uh, we model gives output and like these are the nearest neighbors and that's all so in in graphs too like this kind of algorithm is there and that algorithm is uh, random walk so we can bias the random walk rather than going to every uh, point uh, and uh, searching for the relationship we can bias the random work by like some uh, biases like for example in case of uh, a social media we can say we can find a nearest uh, neighbors uh, of the particular user who likes a cricket or who are a fan of a football or not we can bias the random walk in this way so this way we can uh, reduce the time complexity by a significant margin and this also creates some uh, randomization and these randomizations are like uh, important in uh, recommendation engine so for more information we you can read the research by pinterest so thank you thanks for listening thanks for uh, your time